Handwritten letters by founding father Alexander Hamilton were sold at auction for more than two million dollars. And you know they're authentic because they all begin, Yo, my name is Hamilton and I'm here to say... <laughs> My cousin gonna rob you. <laughs> Best I got. McDonald's has announced that it will be offering two new versions of the Big Mac, one for each type of diabetes. <laughs> a new study shows that the global temperature has reached a record high, and the bumblebee has been added to the endangered species list, which is very alarming. But it's hard to get people to freak out about bees dying or global warming because everybody loves warm weather and they hate bees. <laughs> Maybe if it was the other way around, people would actually start getting involved. Maybe if the weather report in Miami was like, yo, tomorrow is gonna be a high of eight degrees and mad bees. <laughs> it's just certain things just feel too overwhelming to take on. You know, when you, when you learn the actual consequences of climate change and the extension of bees, you have two options. You could either A, ignore it and hope it all just works out, or B, become that guy that brings up bumblebees on a first date. <laughs> the girl asks you, so what do you do? Well, I've dedicated my entire life to preserving the bumblebee. <laughs> and she's just sitting there like, mm. <laughs> A couple in Maryland were arrested after they were discovered having sex in their car while two kids were in the back seat. Worse, the kids kept asking, are you there yet? <laughs> <laughs> it was announced that after more than 140 years, the Ringling Brothers Circus will close in May due to falling ticket sales and protests from animal rights groups. The animals will be released into sanctuaries while the clowns will be released into the woods. <laughs> A recent survey found that a majority of men with a close female friend secretly hope their relationship would turn sexual. Here with more on that shocking statistic is Jake Roshek, who joins us live via satellite from the Friend Zone. Hi. Hi, Michael. Um, I'm currently here deep in the Friend Zone, uh, helping my friend Shannon move into her new apartment. So I've been driving boxes across town all day and carrying awkward furniture upstairs for a pretty girl who is not attracted to me whatsoever. Uh, in fact, just today, Shannon said to me, and I quote, I can't even picture you having sex, which I find confusing because I can picture her having sex very easily. Oof. Uh, yeah, well, tell us what's the hardest part about being in the friend zone. Um, all of it, but <laughs> nights are especially difficult. Um, oftentimes, Shannon will have drama with one of the selfish bad boys she's attracted to, ask me to come over, and we'll sleep in the same bed so she's not lonely. Uh, she easily falls asleep, whereas I will lay awake all night actively suppressing an erection and painfully holding in gas. <laughs> oh, man. Jake, uh... <laughs> Well, how does a guy like you end up in the friend zone? Uh, well, in my case, I found myself in the friend zone with Shannon because when we met, I was nice and kind. Oh. Um, <laughs> it absolutely killed my chance at a physical relationship, but I ended up with a friendship that, honestly, Michael, I wouldn't trade for anything. Oh, so what if uh, Shannon had a change of heart and wanted to... Wanted to start having sex? I would immediately do that. <laughs> well, have you considered telling Shannon how you feel about her? Um, to be honest, Michael, I haven't given it much thought, uh, besides the six-page email explaining why we belong together, currently saved in my drafts folder. Uh, sometimes when I'm drunk, I'll read it, add a few lines, and hover the cursor over the send button, but never click send because, unfortunately, Michael, I am a little baby bitch boy. Hey, Pete, don't hate me, but will you build my IKEA stuff? Uh, I'd love to. Uh, Michael, this is Shannon. Oh, hey, sorry I interrupted. Uh, you're so rude, Shannon. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> oh, my God. Shut up. Jake, your friend is a jerk. Um... <laughs> but we should hang out. Get my number from Jake. Oh, uh, oh, my gosh, Shannon. Stop telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You are trouble. Yeah, I know. <laughs> fun to be here for. Uh, I'm so pumped you guys flirted and made plans in front of me. 
Just, um, just always make sure you're there for her. Nah, Jake, that's your job. <laughs> From the